Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. And yeah, a few days I had a thought about it. Uh, if I'm going to repot or not. Well, I thought today I'm now going to make up my mind and do it because this is the time for this Saigo to repot. Look at those beautiful roots. And there are quite a lot of this of these uh, roots on this new growth. So it's, it's on the edge of the pot, so it can use a little bit uh, more room. So therefore I thought, yeah, this is the time I'm now going to repot it. And Michael McCarthy said that, um, because this one had quite a lot of roots coming out of the pot, and he, uh, in one of my videos, suggested that this one would probably be okay because of the amount of roots. And because then, I think it was by the uh, when I did the reservoir check, with so many roots you should be able to lose a few, it wouldn't uh, uh, make much differences um, with that root system, that many roots. So therefore I, I thought, yeah, he's, he's right, I'm just going to repot it as any other augur, but I thought, uh, because these are so, um, yeah, you need to be so gentle and they are so uh, reacting on a repot, so they obviously do, really do not like it, so therefore I thought maybe I need to come up with a plan, but yeah, I'm just going to repot it as I always do here over on my uh, potting table. I need to clean up a little bit, but it's uh, done very quickly. And then we're going to start repotting this beautiful zygo. And here we are at the up potting table. Um, there is the beautiful orchid. It's actually my, uh, this is my personal favorite. I love all my zygos, but this is my personal favorite. The tag is here. Uh, let me quickly tell you guys, Lusendorf, yes, that was the name. It's a bit faded, but it's the Zygopetum Lusendorf. And I have this from, been in this pot from September the 17th, 2019. So about uh, two years, yet, yeah, actually two years. And now it's time to come out. I'm going to use this little uh, bowl, plastic bowl, Tupperware bowl, something like that, and gently pull the arc out. Oi, yes. <laughs> you guys, that's what I'm talking about. Do you see that? All those roots coming out of the pot. A heck of a lot of them. <sighs> so yeah, that's why I try to figure out the system, to leave it in a pot, put it in a bigger pot. But, because I don't want to damage them, and by, by, I don't have any choice, I think. Yeah, this one is a little bit broken there. So what to do, right? How? I don't think I can uh, get it back. Let me think about it. I'm sorry you guys, I really am thinking what to do. do. Do I need to take it off, cut a root, something like that? I think I slowly want to wiggle it like this. Yeah, there's some movement now coming. Can you see what's happening there? Let me zoom in a little bit like that so yeah you can see root tips all over the place so yeah this one uh, like uh, Michael McCarthy said this one should take this repot even it's a bit brutal on the root system it is growing fairly well for me so but yeah I hate I really really hate doing this I'm slowly pushing it upwards, but I think some roots did go through those holes and then became bigger, so they don't fit the way around or way backwards anymore. But I see a few tips still uh, underneath the pot, so those survive this. Car. Um, yeah, this one should go like that. You should go back. Yeah, broke that one. They break so easily. 
that I need. I will not put it back anymore, we're going to repot it. Just be brave, be brave. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. What a root, what a root. Urgh. Almost there, I think. Yeah, you see some roots are left there behind. Those have been broken off, at least most of them. Yeah, there it goes. So yeah, so sad. You see, some of the roots I couldn't save. But look at that, how many. So, that was the first thing, but you see here, it's coming out of these holes as well. And it's all one big root mess, as far as I could see on the other outer side of the pot. So let's let's continue. We are now on the way where we need to be. I hope. <laughs> so yeah. Oops. I need that pot out of the way. I'm going to put the camera a little bit down. If it works, come on. There we go. And see if we can now get it out of this spot. And I'm really trying to save those ones. Those are very important. If this root system will fail completely, then we have new ones on the way. But I try to save as much of these roots as well, of course. I'm now squeezing the pot, trying to uh, loosen up the root system there, but it's so stuck here. Yes. Uh, yeah, this one is already broken off, so let me grab my scissors. This one is already broken, so I'm going to cut that one off. Maybe it makes some room for the rest. You know, it's a very large, big root. But hopefully now the rest will go through the hole. But still stuck. Yeah, there's so many of those guys. Let me uh, change the like this. This one is a bit bigger, so because I need to force it in here. I don't have any choice. Let me try to do that. Loosen this up. And so here we go again. I did turn off the heater. So I probably had some extra noise there. I apologize for it. But it should be fixed now. Because that heater is very close to the camera. So probably didn't. You couldn't hear me as good as I thought you would. But anyhow, we're still there. I really don't know. I obviously I could cut all of those roots off. But I really try to save them as much as I can. So let's be a little bit more brutal, more power maybe. No, it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to work. I really, I'm breaking them by almost by touching them. That you break them. So you guys, I'm sorry. This will not be pretty, but I'm uh, going to cut them off because I I just cannot get it out of the pot, and I I need to get it move on with this. So I'm going to cut a, cut a few of those roots and hopefully that will be enough. And this one should be able to take it like uh, Michael said as well. Yeah, I don't know if he uh, was, uh, into, into, was uh, expecting this, <laughs> but I think, uh, I think he uh, was. He said uh, even if some roots are damaging it should be okay. So and now I'm damaging the roots obviously. But I need to get it out of the pot. So. Still 
still nothing. Uh, let me do this again. Not a single bit of movement created. So, cut off even more roots. There's so many of them. Can I cut it off? wire, but wicking wire may be in a way also a little bit. Seriously you guys. And uh, <laughs> let me get those out of the way. We even have more here. Almost, I think. Still are. I do get a little bit more movement, but not much. Oh, you guys, this is something. <laughs> I don't want to be too brutal to chuck it off with too much force. Um, so let me try to cut that wire. I hope this scissor can do the job. Like this, no. Shoot. No way. No. Bit of wire. I was hoping for a little bit more because the wire goes through a hole and there are a bunch of roots as well. So that probably doesn't work well. But they need to get through the same hole again, outwards. Yeah, almost, I think. Almost is not enough. <laughs> Let me have a look. Did I miss some? Yes. Why are you not working? Uh, yes. Woo. Okay. There we are. I'm so so sorry for the plan, but on the other hand, what did this one grow beautifully over those last two years? One big root system. I'm so so happy with this. This is my best growing uh, zygo. And you can see some coloration on the roots. Some are a bit dark green, some are even a bit brown and they feel firm. They absolutely feel firm. So, And because of it I grow in, uh, in organic media, the media is fine so I don't have to pull out this complete plug. Luckily and that's why one of the big, big pros for me that I like in organic media because I can leave it like this. I'm not going to interfere with the root system anymore because, because as you can see what I did, I damaged it quite a lot, especially the, the uh, part here underneath, uh, the lower part I should say, the lowest in the, in the, in the pot. And I'm just going to, uh, to leave it like it is. Maybe some parts that I did uh, damage. I'm going to take those off. But that's it. What a root system. You can see that barely any pumice falling off. It's, it's really, really has such a beautiful, beautiful root system. So yeah. Yeah, it smells, smells uh, very natural. <laughs> So no, uh, no rotting, etc. Et so yeah, I, sorry, I just took my time a little bit. I just was enjoying this root system because this is what we do, right? Of what we try to accomplish. Such a strong, healthy root system. And then the rest on top of the pot will follow. But it's all about these guys here. And the new ones. So what an amount of new ones, you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and even in the back. Uh, 25, 26, 27. Seriously, 27 new root tips. And we, all, and we also have a few, three of them there. So yeah, beautiful. Okay, okay. <laughs> we, let's continue this saga. Let's continue this. Um, yeah, what to do? Let me put it in here for just a second. So I'm going to very carefully lay it now down uh, in this uh, Ball, yes, that was the word. I'm going to clean this up and then I will be back and we will put it up again. So, I uh, got my materials ready. I'm going to use this uh, yogurt container uh, thing. I did uh, burn some holes in, in the bottom so uh, I can use it as a inner pot. And this one is uh, about 16 centimeters wide. So, it suits my uh, 16 centimeters outer pots very well. And as you can see, just a little uh, layer there and it has a handle so I can uh, really uh, easily grab it. And yes, my lights are going out because it's around eight uh, in the evening while I'm filming this. So it probably will be get a bit darker here. I'm sorry, but I didn't have uh, much time today, but I want, really, really wanted to do that repot. But well, not actually want it, but you know what I, uh, what I mean. Um, I'm going to reuse this uh, water meter that I have. I'm not going to clean it uh, because there may be uh, maybe beneficial bacteria and I, I'm going to keep it because I also do not uh, keep it like this because I also do not uh, wash the root system. So no need to clean everything up. Um, if you ask me. So what I'm going to do this time. Let me grab it. I have some leftover uh, lacquer. I have a lot of lacquer because I use quite a lot of lacquer. And I noticed that my zygos do like uh, a mixture of Cintiq and pumice. And especially the last one did get a bigger pumice with Cintiq, so more air. And, um, and some had some lacquer in it, so a mixture of different things they, uh, they seem to like. And because this is such a, a packed root system, as you can see, there's not much air going on. So I'm going now from the for the uh, just a layer of lacquer, and then uh, with the bigger pumice around it, just to get air in that pot. Because otherwise, I think I will get some problems within maybe six months to a year because it's so packed there. And if I'm going to pack it up again, yeah, I think uh, we can use some more air. So that's uh, why I first uh, use some uh, lacquer. So if I didn't have any lacquer left anymore, I just would go with this one because I like the pumice a bit more. This is fairly big, but you can see a lot of more air pockets and I comp um, comprom compromised the, the too much air, I let it say, <laughs> like that with the Cintiq. I hope that, uh, I hope that that makes sense. But once again, you can see the small Cintiq uh, pumice and the Cintiq makes a very a, a massive uh, clump of media and I like to loosen, loosen it up a little bit and that's like I said because I noticed that on my other uh, zygopedliums that I use this mixer they really like growing roots very quickly in this this media this setup the big pumice and the Cintiq so that's uh, why I use that and change it a little bit I hope that that uh, was make sense I think I don't know. I hope at least, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably they put too much pumice in already. Yeah, way too much. Way too much. Of course, this ha happens. No problem. I just uh, get some out. Now I did mix it up a little bit more. Nothing wrong with that. So let me try again. Uh, yeah, still quite a lot of media. I 
because I'm upsizing this from 12 to 16 I thought it wouldn't be but this is probably not as high as I uh, imagined it so uh, I'm just going to with an almost em empty pot and try it again I think now it will uh, yeah there we go and you can see it's not much but just that layer around I can easily stick my finger in that's how much room I now have so this new growth can put in those new roots just along on the side here next to the older roots there and that was my plan maybe I need to do the one over here yeah a little bit further back who knows I can uh, get it uh, growing in this for another two years um, There we go. And I probably have too much media already. Um, how am I going to do this? Slowly, because I don't want to damage those new roots. So I probably take it in my hand to be a bit more careful because of the roots there uh, keep my hand in front of them and this side will be better like that and again Something like that. Then you grab some Cintiq and I'm going to put a Cintiq underneath those roots. The new roots really like growing into the Cintiq. I, uh, I saw uh, also with my uh, Melthoniopsis. So let's put some Cintiq there and give them a little bit of extra protection from the rest of the media that I need to put in. Like that. And yeah, a little bit of scented there on top doesn't matter that much anymore because I already have so many media in, but it keeps it more air, um, not air, uh, moist around the top as well. So that's, uh, that's nice. I think I can put in a little bit more scented here on the other side and just a bit there. Let me grab this one, this stick. That can, uh, I hope you can see it. I think you can. This is very easy to put it down a bit more. Like this, very gently. So, I can push the media, like I said, a bit more down into the pot. Air pockets, okay, but not way too big, of course. That it should be fine, I think. Yes, this is beautiful. Um, let me see, maybe we can get it. more this is the uh, back part of the plant as you can see so it doesn't need that much of media because it probably will not grow any more new roots but still I uh, put something uh, some media in there for you never know maybe a root grow a, a side apart and there goes my other light and we still can see it I think yes once again I apologize but otherwise I hadn't any time and I wouldn't uh, wait any longer I just I wanted to get it over with because what you just saw I, I really wasn't looking forward to uh, 
damaging so much roots, but I knew I had to do it to get it out of that pot. I waited too long, but I was so afraid to uh, on potting uh, and repotting my zygos because they are so sometimes not that easy to get going. But I uh, should knock on wood. Uh, I think they are doing pretty fine. My zygos. I'm really happy with them. Only one that we recently did that was something wrong. I don't know for sure what was wrong, but in general speaking, my uh, my zygos do uh, very well. So, uh, but I'm going to leave it like this. I will put some pebbles on top, and we have some more air here. But that's once again because then we uh, here we are at the, the oldest part of the plant, and actually we have some media that should go down in a little bit further because I don't want to keep those bulbs wet, so I push it a little bit here. Yes, that's better. That can now go out of the way. So I now will uh, put some uh, pebbles around it as a uh, last top layer, uh, dry layer. Top layer. I'm <laughs> sorry. Sorry for the noise. It's always a bit noisy, but yeah. That's how these things go with inorganic media, most of the times. Few parts of pebbles there, I'm sorry, I hope you can see it. And I'm going to leave those, uh, this leaf is in a way, that those new roots, I don't put any pebbles around it there because I had the synthetic there. And like I said, I don't want to damage them. Because I don't know how this, uh, uh, Zygel will react or respond on this repot because I broke so many roots. Probably, certainly okay, uh, some kind of okay, I think, because in the middle I didn't touch any roots, so that should be okay. I uh, just give it a bigger pot, same setup, uh, same media, even though some uh, pumice was a little, is a little bit bigger, but still pumice. So, in the, it, it should be fine, really should be fine. So I'm going to give this a rinse and then we uh, will put it back on the shelf and within a few months I think I will get a, have a close eyes on the ro those roots and if something is showable, <laughs> is showing up here on the, on the side of the pot, I will do an update. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's very nice. I could imagine that you would like to follow this one um, because this was a fairly brutal uh, repot, at least for my doing. I, I really hate it. I personally hate it because of the sound and the feeling of those breaking roots. Yeah, I probably will. It will not give me a nightmare, but it's fairly close, I think. <laughs> yeah, I really hate it. I really, really hate it. But sometimes you have to do it. So, uh, and I am back, you guys. It's next day, obviously. It's way more, uh, more light in the, in the orchid room. Because the end of my video wasn't... Uh, uh, completely nicely filmed I uh, saw when editing so I thought well I'm going to get um, to do the uh, outro a bit better basically um, what I did forget is that I leave this now for about two to three days I do not water it it's still uh, wet and damp because we damaged quite a lot of roots well actually I did and so therefore I let it stabilize a little bit but even though those roots uh, are uh, adapted to water, so it wouldn't, but uh, because I did uh, break quite a lot of them, I will give it a little bit of rest before I fill up a, a reservoir again. And then I thought, well, let me show you one of uh, my other zygos, which I was referring to. You can see here that I use the bigger pumice, if you compare it uh, with my, uh, my finger, and um, the Cintiq. So that's uh, what I was talking about, and as you can see, this one has a, a heck of a lot of roots as well. So apparently they like that bit of extra air there. And even though this one has a little bit of different coloration there on the roots, we saw that with the other one as well, nothing wrong with it. And some green roots there is what we saw as well, and this one is uh, currently still in bloom. My beautiful almost white one but you can see the I think it's now about to going over it was uh, in bloom for quite some weeks yes it's definitely going over you can see the spotting there but uh, yeah I thought well this is a nice opportunity to uh, show that as well so it uh, 
does make a little bit more sense, I think, the things that, was, that I was talking about during this uh, repot. So, I think this is a better outro for, for this video. Uh, and it was something. Yeah, but uh, it's done. The job is done. This one can now grow on. And I do not have any uh, uh, of the tray, uh, the uh, tray thing, how do you call it? This thing uh, underneath it anymore. So if it will grow roots, it will not get tangled up again as much. So uh, in the near future, if I ever uh, have to repot it again in probably a year or two, then it should be a bit easier. So that's, uh, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I did uh, finish the job. So thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, of course I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye!